All right. Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and today you're watching my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. This is where I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. Let me pull up the app. And for those of you who are interested, this is the Spin the Wheel Random Picker app that I got off of Android. I've got an Android phone. I have all of my whiskeys randomized on the phone. I'm gonna spin the wheel, pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and then let you know if I'm gonna keep sipping on the bottle until it's gone, and then I'm gonna replace it because I like it. Or once the bottle's gone, I'm gonna skip it and buy something else. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel, and let's see what we're going to review today. Holy cow, that's loud. All right, we are looking at Old Elk Single Barrel Total Wine Store Pick. All right, this was recently put into a top five, I believe. Let me go ahead and grab this. Let's do the review. We'll pour it, tell you what I think of it. All righty, I think I've got the right one. So this is a straight bourbon whiskey selected by Total Wine and more. Let's get this thing poured. And I actually picked this bottle up on the recommendation of people that are watching. So one of my subscribers said, if you have a store pick of Old Elk, if not, go get one. Let's get this thing on the nose, let you know what I think of it. This is candy bar sweet, very chocolatey, very rich in flavor, or at least rich on the nose. It smells like it's going to be extremely sweet. The sweetness that I'm getting like I mentioned, it is kind of a candy bar, but there's also some really rich, sweet fruit notes in here as well. It would be a combination of apple, cherry, and banana. If you were to put all three of those together, that's what I would imagine this would be like. Yeah, this smells absolutely amazing. Before I get out on the palate, just like always, the information for this particular store pick is right here, along with my sip it and skip it tallies. And I'm putting a link to a document in the description or in the video description. So if you're interested in my past sip it or skip it segments, it tells you if I'm skipping them or sipping them. The ABV is pretty upfront. That ethanol, even though it is strong, it's high, but it's not overbearing. You do feel it. So this is 54.6%. It's very good. I can taste all the individual components of this. You get the barrel tannin, you get the oak. There's definitely that candy bar milk chocolate sweetness. Right now, being my first sip, that finish seems rather long. Almost reminds me of the cigar blend or the cigar cut. It has a very strong, powerful nose and palate, but not nearly as strong or as powerful as the Joseph Magnus cigar blend. That thing was absolutely amazing. All right, now smelling that again for the second time, it's now leaning more towards the banana note than anything else. All right, and then again on that second nosing, now it's getting a little bit more of a bubblegum note. Let's get that second sip down and see if it changed. It's hot again in Arizona and shooting this, I think it's like 115 outside and my glasses just keep sliding down my face. So let me get rid of those. Yeah, on that second sip, Things seem to mellow out a little bit. I don't have as much of the banana note. It is sweet, tiny bit of spice. There's a good amount of oak and leather, no tobacco, no uh, ashy barrel uh, bitterness or barrel char. I think it's a pretty good, well-balanced sweet with a very touch of spice. The finish on this is really, really long. I don't remember it being this long the last time I had it. I like it, that's for sure. Yeah, the banana note, cherry, strawberry, yeah, bubblegum. All right, let's get a third sip down and then we'll move on to whether this is a sip or a skip. I gotta get these things back down under six minutes. This one did pretty good in the blind. It, it beat out most of the old elk that I had. So let's go ahead and move on to whether this is a sip or a skip. I am inundated with a ton of different old elks. I am finished buying old elk for a while until some of these bottles are gone. So I will tell you, the store picks are going to be sips for me. I don't necessarily think the normal offerings are gonna be things that I 
purchase again, especially with the amount of bottles that I have already. Once I have a good amount of these finished or very close to being finished, I'm gonna lean more towards store picks. So the store pick is definitely going to be a sip for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you have had store picks of Old Elk. The Old Elk, <laughs> it took my glasses off, I gotta put them back on. Totally forgot what this is. The Old Elk Bourbon, the Old Elk Straight Bourbon Whiskey. If you've had a store pick of their straight bourbon whiskey, what do you think of it? And how does it compare to the other Old Elks in the lineup? Leading into the next thing, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this information, do me a favor, subscribe. Just go and click on that little subscribe button right there. Give me a like if you like this information. Share this with somebody in the whiskey world that might get enjoyment out of it. And until the next time, I hope you're enjoying your journey because I am certainly enjoying mine with a store pick Old Elk that I'm not gonna skip. Talk to you later. Bye.